Hello all. So regarding the foods that contain mild acetone, uh, generally during extraction for lab purposes, uh, under chemical way of extraction, uh, few solvents like acetone, methanol, ethanol, or even water is used, where they help break down the plant cell wall by osmosis, and thus the chem biochemical compounds come out easily, right? Um, so especially uh, acetone is a good solvent due to its ability to dissolve both the polar and non-polar substances simply compounds that mix and which do not mix in water so both get dissolved in acetone easily so now do we have something like this acetone that helps dis uh, the disintegration of the biochemical compounds present in the food we eat so apart from the uh, stomach's ph bile acid and enzymes that help in this action we do have foods that have mild concentrations of acetone in it that help in releasing uh, the bioactive compounds. While we cannot or won't consume acetone as such as it's fatal. Uh, coming to our foods, acetone is naturally present in many fruits and vegetables, especially in grapes, onions and beans. Uh, usually there's a practice right of having raw onion during our lunch uh, along with our lunch and grapes as in grape wine which isn't a part of a culture though and few beans like uh, castor beans, kottamuttu or uh, amanakku vidai in Tamil is mostly used in preparing idli batter. The main reason is it acts as a preservative that doesn't allow the batter go stale in those days as the refrigeration wasn't an option. Another scientific reason is it brings off the starches and other biochemical compounds for fermentation. Uh, that's it. Let's ease the dissolution of uh, food inside our stomach with uh, such a uh, simple age-old habit of eating raw onion with our meals. Thank you.